In this video, I'm going to show you how to sew the collar on the Melody Dolman. At this stage, you'll have sewn your shoulder seams and you'll have stay stitched around the neckline. This is especially important if you're using a loosely woven fabric like a rayon. Um, this, a stay stitch is a regular stitch done inside the seam allowance and that will stay there. You don't take it out like a, a basting stitch. Um, you should also have your markings on the front and you should have finished the edges of your facing. So for the collar, the under collar is the piece that's interfaced and not cut into. The upper collar is the piece that has been, is not interfaced and it also has been clipped into and then that little flap there has been pressed up to the inside. So what we want to do is we want to align our center back marking to the center back of the dolman. So we have the under collar right side going to the right side of the shirt. And then these notches right here should match up to the shoulder seams. And then your ends of your collar is going to match up to, so on their front piece, you have two markings. You have an inside marking and an outside marking, and this collar is going to line up to the inside marking right there. I'm just gonna put that pin there. And then what we'll do, once we have pinned everything, the collar in place, we're gonna wrap this around. I've gotten my collar all lined up and pinned in place. Now we take the facing and we fold it over, lining up the outside marking to the end of the collar, which is also where the inside marking is. And that should put that the center marking right in the middle. So then we're just gonna wrap this around and then redo our pins. And also the shoulder seam of the facing has a half inch seam allowance. You wanna fold that over and press, and we're going to pin that in place as well. So we're gonna do that on both sides. And then we're going to take it to the sewing machine and straight stitch across the entire neckline and the collar. This is sandwiching the shirt front, the collar, and the facing in one stitching, one line of stitching. And as you're coming across the, the center back, you're going to stitch beneath the folded edge. You will not catch that in here. So you just do 3 8 inch and that will just, just miss this. So that collar is straight stitched on, straight across. And now I'm going to go in and just trim the seam allowance here and on this side, and then we're gonna clip in to that seam allowance so this can tuck inside the under collar, the whole collar. We're just gonna cut right into there. both sides. So now we can turn our facings to the right side, pop the corners out. And so this little flap that we left, we'll press it up and it will go inside the fold. We'll go in 
inside the fold and then um, you press it, pin it in place really well so it's covering that seam and then straight stitch it close to the seam allowance or close to the seam edge. And then also tack down the shoulder seams right in that seam to keep these facings from flopping out. 